Hello everybody, it's Spectacular, the Silver Stacular. In this video, I have a one ounce silver bar, this one right here, that was purchased from a local coin shop. And the person that sent this to me believes it is fake. So we're gonna get to the bottom of it. We're gonna find out what's going on. And I'm gonna use different testing methods that I have right here to find out if it is truly fake. And if it is fake, I'm gonna go ahead and use one of the oldest torture devices that uh, I currently own which is a drill. So I'm not really trying to torture the poor little silver um, or, you know, the fake silver if it is not real. But uh, this should actually tell us what's down deep inside of it if it is fake. So this might come in handy. All right. It's fun to do. Always fun to do. And if the drill's not good for anything else, it's good for waking up the family. So I got this letter in the mail in my P.O. box, and it was from Gene. It's very wrinkly because it was in a small envelope, so sorry about that. It says, Spectacular slash Jesse. First, love your YouTube channel. It's entertaining and very informative. And you are a good interviewer, hidden talent. I picked up this one ounce silver bar in a local coin shop in the Dallas-Fort Worth, Texas area in early June. I was sifting through their generic silver bullion box and came across this Pan American Silver Court bar and was leery of it because what I had seen out there on the web. However, I picked it up to see. I believe it's a fake by looking at the logo pattern on the reverse. It weighs in okay and it failed the Sigma test for triple nine silver. Anyway, I know you like to investigate counterfeit bullion and cut into them. So here you go. It's yours to have at it with this one. P.S. Love your My Full Poured Silver Stack video. All the best, keep stacking, and the video's coming, Gene. Thank you very much, Gene, for thinking about me, and I uh, appreciate you watching the videos, of course. So let's find out if your silver bar is real or not. If it's real, you know what? I'm gonna send it back to you, because why not, right? But if it's fake, uh, I gotta keep it. I gotta take it off the market, Gene, I'm sorry. But I will send you a couple of pieces of spectacular swag just for fun, a little magnet and sticker combo. All right, so the first thing I really wanna do with this guy right here is I wanna weigh it. I wanna see what it weighs in at because Gene did say that it weighed good. All right, so I wanna set it to troy ounce on my little scale. These scales are cheap. Uh, they do come from China, they're dirt cheap. Uh, are they the most accurate scale? Most likely not, but they can do what I need them to do, which is just to weigh small little things to some degree. Uh, so this says right here, spot on at one troy ounce, which is what you want it to be, right? You want it to be a troy ounce. It'd be nice if it was over, my goodness. Let me weigh a couple other of these bars that I have right here that have proven to be real. Uh, again, one ounce for this Apmex bar. Um, I have some kind of little, uh, just generic, fun little international bar right there. Again, one ounce. And one more just for fun. Here is an RMC bar. And the RMC bar shows, it wants to teeter off, but it's one ounce. So... Uh, they all weigh good. So that's the first test, is it does show that it's one ounce. That's, that's a good thing, right? You don't want it to be well over or well under an ounce, because uh, that starts to raise red flags. All right, so the next thing I want to do is I'm going to look at it a little bit. And, you know, there's plenty of these out on the internet that are fakes. These particular bars, Northwest Territorial Mint, always look at those with a little bit of caution, because there are a lot of fakes. For some reason, they fake these a lot. So uh, there are some identifying factors out there and you can use the internet to kind of see, but um, sometimes the font on the wording is a little bit weird on the fakes. And I say weird, I just mean not, you know, normal to a real bar. But one thing I wanna show you, and I'm gonna use one of these bars that I actually tested to be uh, legit on weight, is this Atmex bar. And I wanna put it up next to it because there's something that's interesting to me. Uh, when you look at this Northwest Territory Mint right here on the left side, versus this Atmex bar, you notice there's a little bit of size issues going on, right? But notice that you can actually start to see the Northwest Territorial Mint bar kind of overlap in certain areas of the Atmex bar, right? So that would make you think that the weight is a little bit off. And actually, uh, when I pinch them from the side together, the alignment is just a little bit off. And you probably have to turn it this way to see it, but you can see that the, um, the Atmex bar is a little bit thicker than this right here. So there's a little bit more, it's, it's just weird. The size is, is a little bit different. So compared to another bar, and I know it's not the same bar, it's just the size is a little bit, little bit wonky to me. 
Um, now that's not, you know, to say that some bars can't be totally crazy on the on the size and still be silver. For instance, I have this bar right here, which is totally different than all the other bars I have, but it is thicker. So you can see that it actually is smaller, but they are both silver bars. But this one right here on the right is much thicker, which is why it is smaller this way. So I do wanna measure the thickness of this bar with the digital calipers. So I got about 2.94 for this Northwest Territorial, you know, Northwest Territorial real silver bar right here, supposedly. So 2.94, let me measure this Atmex and kind of see where that's coming in at. Now there is some relief on it, it has some like lettering and stuff. Uh, so that might make a little bit of a difference, but I got 2.39. So there is a size difference in there, 2.94 versus 2.39. This is a thinner bar for sure. And it's just so hard to tell with the naked eye, but it is it is a little bit thinner. So, you know, so there's some red flags right there, right? For this to be a different size thickness, um, a little bit larger when you put it up next to it than the other bar, uh, something's going on, right? Now I do have some Northwest Territorial Mint bars in my collection. They are in these little plastic things right here. Um, I proved these to be legit. These are real silver bars. And these are also counterfeited a lot too. And there's plenty of pictures on the internet that will show some you know, minor differences between the fonts and, and what's going on with these right here between real and fake ones. Uh, this is obviously two different designs between this Northwest Territory Mint Bar and this one right here. The reason I brought these ones out is because I wanna mention the plastic that's encasing them. Some people think that, oh, it's in plastic, so um, it has to be good. Uh, they wouldn't put fake silver in these little sleeves right here. Um, actually, they do. They, they'll put them in air tights, um, or at least, you know, generic looking air tight uh, capsules, all kinds of things to make you think that they're more legit than, than other ones. Uh, these right here are real, but they actually do put some fake ones in these little plastic things. So don't think that when you see them in the plastic, that that is for sure going to be a real piece of silver. All right, so now the test that Gene said that uh, helped him to verify or at least believe that it was not real was this Sigma Metalytics Precious Metals Verifier apparently. Said that it did not show up as triple nine fine for him. So I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna come down here to the setting of, oops, one too many of triple nine pure silver. We're gonna run slash calibrate. And we're simply going to place the bar on the sensor right here in the middle. And you can see the arrow is coming all the way over here to the right hand side, which means that something's going on with the bar. It doesn't always mean that whatever you put on there is fake, but uh, it means that it's probably not reading at whatever setting you have it on um, for one reason or another, but it, it deserves something, uh, some more investigating. And the more investigating was the stuff we did prior where we went ahead and weighed it and put it up to other things. And when we put it up to other bars, it just looked different, right? The calipers showed that it was a little bit uh, like thicker than other bars, which it shouldn't be. If it's going to weigh one ounce, it should be very similar in size. So something's going on with this. And you can see if I put a, uh, a legit bar, let's put another one of these Northwest Territorial Mints that's in this plastic. The plastic does not affect this machine. And I will put it under that right there, I'm sorry. Uh, we'll put it right there in the sensor and we can see that it's actually in these brackets. Uh, that's where it should be. It should be within the brackets showing that it is triple nine pure silver. And we can try one more, just whatever bar, just for fun. And again, uh, right there in the brackets. Again, we're gonna go with what is to believe to be the fake one and the arrow is off to the right. So uh, that's enough evidence for me to go ahead and warrant, you know, <laughs> ripping into it a little bit, giving it the old drill treatment. Uh, so now I'm going to go ahead and drill it and see what it looks like on the inside. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, before I go ahead and show you the results, take a moment. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. It would help me out so much. I'd love to have you around the channel. I have a lot of cool videos I think you would enjoy, at least one or two that you'd enjoy. And if you enjoyed the video, if it was helpful at all, leave it a thumbs up. I would definitely appreciate it. Leave me a comment afterwards too. That would be uh, fantabulous. Anyways, this right here is the result of a little little tiny bit of grinding down on just the surface. Uh, you can see right here that silver is supposed to be silver in color. Uh, even when you get beyond the initial uh, small layer on the top, there should still be silver below it. And you can see right here that it's not. It has a, a brass kind of color to it, does it not? So unfortunately, Gene, your silver bar is only worth a spectacular sticker and magnet. But that's pretty cool, right? I guess you can, you earned yourself a little bit of, uh, you know, channel swag for your fake bar. You know, I'm sorry. Uh, if I was you, I would definitely, 
show this video and mention it to that coin shop that sold you the fake. Uh, convince them to go out and get some tools, something simple like this, a little Sigma Metalytics machine for a shop like that should some, be something they have on hand. There should be no reason why a shop can't afford a $700 machine uh, to make sure that when they're selling you precious metals, that they're legit. So this right here, unfortunately, is not legit. And it's going to go into the pile of not legits. It's been given to me now uh, throughout these few uh, months that I've been doing fakes. And that's what I've accumulated so far. And, um, you know, there's fakes of all kinds. It's just going to go into the pile, though. I got, you know, silver eagles you got to be careful for. Uh, a lot of uh, Morgan dollars. I got gold bars that are fake. Gold coins that are fake. Um, other gold coins, old pre-33 that's fake. Man, I feel so light. When you feel it that's just so light in the hand um you know even commemoratives fake commemorative coins so be careful out there make sure that uh you know you're you're checking your stuff uh, don't be like hey you know i got it from a really reputable source i don't need to check my things no you should definitely check your stuff check it all the way down the line man check it uh the shop should be checking it um, the person who's selling to that shop originally should be checking it and the buyer should be checking for sure making sure that everything they have is legit um, it'd be terrible for one day this to be passed on to your loved ones and uh, they find out that what you thought was a very, you know, nice preservation of wealth that's going to be passed on to them um, is worth less. So uh, let's not do that to people. Let's make sure that our stuff is legit. It's, you know, worthwhile that we're getting good precious metals. Be careful, too, on a lot of these uh, social media places where it's like Facebook, um, Instagram, eBay, any of those places where you can easily buy precious metals and it's just from some random people, realistically. It's not like a, a well-established company that could lose a lot of reputation if they're selling fake stuff. Just be very, very careful. Make sure you're definitely checking those pieces out thoroughly. And uh, if the deal seems too good to be true, it probably is. Be careful about those places you're buying from. Um, I've seen this really funny listing on eBay that uh, it simply wasn't really selling anything even though there was a price on it. It just says, stop buying fake silver because there's so much of it on eBay. And a lot of times it even says it's fake. And um, some people say they're gonna use these things for like poker chips or things like that for like some kind of little fake, uh, little setup kind of table they have, which I mean, I get, but you know, eventually somebody's gonna get a hold of that stuff, think it's real, and then this problem just keeps persisting. Um, and then also when you're buying that fake stuff, those companies out of like China who are making them, it just kind of like says, you know, solidifies what they're doing a little bit and they go, haha, we can, we can keep making this stuff because people keep buying it. So let's stop buying that stuff. Uh, let's buy the real deal and let's make sure that we have the real stuff in our collection. Anyways, Gene, thanks for sending me out that fake. Uh, sorry that it is fake, like I said. Uh, I'll get you that sticker and a magnet combo set up and, and sent out to you. And I hope you all enjoyed the video. Spectacular is out. <laughs>